Hello, it's today, and today we're going to have a game of myth, history in the making on the Amstrad CPC, yes, um, or maybe no, um, reason why I'm playing this, because I played the Commodore 64 version, um, never had it back in the day on any of the systems, um, the Commodore 64 version was a game that I um, found quite difficult. I didn't really know how to play, but what impressed me was the graphics and the amazing music by your own tell. Um, so how is this going to compare? Um, well, you're about to find out. And it's not going to be very well. Oh my goodness, look at it. So clearly... <laughs> Clearly, it's a ZX Spectrum port. Well done, System Free Software. You do not know how to program on an Amstrad CPC. Well, that is typical System Free, because I remember the last having the last Ninja 2 on the Amstrad CPC. It did not look a patch on the Commodore 64 version. Right. All right, controls are a little bit awkward, so we need to kick that. All right, why not? Oh, here we go. All right, if you keep holding down, it'll just. All right, okay. Get that. I think this version is a little bit more easier to play than the Commodore 64 version, to be honest with you. But there's no comparison. There's no comparison here. The Commodore 64 version. Beats it by miles. I mean, if you have not seen, if you've not seen it, check it out. I mean, it puts this to shame. Um, I mean, graphically on its own. Um, I mean, there's no, there's no even any music in this. No music in this at all. And you can tell straight away it is a spectrum port. You can tell by the size of the screen. And it's in mode one. So we're only going to get four colours. Um, I mean, it probably does play pretty well. I mean, if you didn't haven't seen the Commodore 64 and you was a, and you, you might like it. Um, I mean, I probably, I think because the ease, it, as I said, it, I think it plays a little bit easier. Then I'm saying this, I can't even fucking, um, right. I don't like the controls. I really don't. Ah. Oh. But this is flips, flip screen, where the Con Commodore 64 version it scrolled really, really nicely in all directions. Maybe um, they can. Well, I don't know. I've seen the Amstrad do some impressive scrolling, but we're talking about system-free software here that only seemed to favour the Commodore 64. Pretty much like US Gold in that respect. I mean, uh, I, I could probably say it might have made a good playable game here. Oh, we do get some sound effects going on. But be fair, I mean, the Commodore 64 version didn't have much in the way of sound effects. Um, but it, it really did not really need to. I mean, I mean, the quality of the game, the graphics, and especially the music. You know, this is just shoddy. I mean, I, I, oh, there's a little bit of slow down here and there. I would have been fucking annoyed if I played the Commodore 64 version back in the day and I liked it and I decided to buy it for the Amstrad and this is the and this is what I got. I would have been 
disappointed to seeing how good the Commodore 64 version looks. And what do we get here? As I said, it's a ZX Spectrum pool. Lazy programming. I mean, if they programmed if someone, they should just give someone that knows a bit of knowledge on how to program on the Amstrad CPC. Give it to them. And I reckon we would we, we would have got a better a better game. And this is the case with most games. Well, when I say most games, I said I meant ports. Because um, the Amstrad did suffer from a lot of Spectrum ports. And I uh, know US Gold was another. You know, I'm looking at you, US Gold, because you was just as bad. But then again, I have played some decent US Gold games, like Gauntlet, Gauntlet 2. Um, uh, what is it? Um, Desert Fox, that was a good conversion. Um, Beachhead was another one. Um, I know there's a few more, but usually there was a lot of crap. Usually down to fucking Spectrum ports. Right, let's see if we can beat one of these skeletons up. Come here. Oh dear. Yeah, I mean, what? what? Is that something? If you hold down space bar, you can. Oh, you, oh, you can. Can you select something? I don't know. Can I get over that? I don't think I can because that's too much of a leap. But controls on this. Uh, uh, yeah, you can't just right. Jump up. No, I'm jumping up. You, when you try and jump up, it, it goes into a direction. No, I don't want to do that. Yeah, very shoddy game. Very, very shoddy. Oh, I can fire something now. Well, that's better. But, <laughs> saying that, I've got further in this version than I did in the Commodore 64 version. I think that was down to, because it crashed. I think there's a problem with the ROM. It just keep, kept on crashing, so I only managed to get a couple of goes out of it. And the goes I had, I couldn't get it very far. Oh, what's this? Oh, I hit something. Um, did I just lose a life? Yes, I did. So you can't do that. Right, so if I try jumping up, oh, you can't, can you? Oh, you can't. Oh, I've done it again. I didn't want to do that. So it looks like I've got one more life left. So let's just disappear this way. So you can tell it's, there's a, there's slow down in this game. So once again, very shoddy um, programming. If this is a, well, it, you can tell it's a straight away it's a Spectrum port. I wondered the Spectrum port, the Spectrum version, is faster. So yes, we do get some sound effect. Oh, oh, I missed that. Oh, in the door. Oh no. Oh, no, I've just lost another life for for what? Oh, game over, is it? Okay, that's game over. I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, uh, if you if you want to play this, and um, I would recommend the Commodore 64 version just for the music alone, um, and you know, graphically, it's a hell of a lot better. 
but I think the gameplay on the Amstrad version is a bit easier to be honest with you um, it's only because I really didn't have a clue what I was supposed to be doing on the Commodore 64 version. But then again, I don't have a clue what I'm really supposed to be doing on this version. But if you're going to give a version a go, give the Commodore 64 version a go. Um, not sure. I've not played any of the 16-bit versions yet. But we might check them out. We might do. I don't know. I, we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time and goodbye.